Let's talk now about Facebook communities because these can be a great way to engage with your students. If you set up a Facebook group which you make uh, private so that your students have to ask to join, i.e. lots of people who find the group flooding in from outside don't simply swamp you, you can set up an educational and informational group which can be a real help to your students and can actually help you to help them engage and learn and develop. Please note this is not a promotional place in any way, shape or form. If you send your students to a group where you do lots of promoting, uh, Udemy will slam you and then they will completely uh, probably cancel your account. So this is strictly a non-promotional strategy and tactic and it's genuinely a really good thing to help your students. I'm a member of a number of other instructors Facebook groups and there's great discussion there and it gives me an opportunity as well to help other students because when they ask a question I'm in a position with a little bit of experience that I have to answer it and that's really what it's all about. So because Facebook is a much more sophisticated platform it's got lots of, of uh, functionality. You can leave messages, videos, you can connect message people. However, you know, you understand it's very sophisticated. Um, it means that you can provide regular updates and information for your students and they can also engage with one another. It's a really good place to have that conversation going on in a way that you don't really have the functionality uh, because Udemy is not a Facebook platform. It's not a conversational platform it's um, an you know an educational platform you don't get that functionality in Udemy therefore it's worthwhile setting up your group and bringing your students across there gradually what I suggest is periodically you include a paragraph probably more often in your educational announcements than your promotional announcements although there's nothing to stop you putting it in a promotional announcement uh, inviting people into the group as a good way to gradually develop your membership and what I also recommend is in your management spreadsheets, and you should be running these, that you keep a track of when you send out uh, Facebook invitations and to which courses. And really, ideally, in a, in a month or two, or you know, over, if you've got lots of courses, then you should be gradually inviting students into the courses and then periodically re-inviting new students uh, who are, aren't already in. Just to give you an idea of what this little invitation might look like. Here's an example from one of my messages, which I think is very straightforward. Um, first of all, a, a clear headline. Uh, I've put it in green here. You can't do that in your education announcements. Maybe you put it in bold uh, or you make it capital letters saying, come on, join my online learning club on Facebook. Uh, everybody's welcome. It's dedicated to students and instructors. And I'm there every day and I am sharing my thoughts and ideas and my passion for online learning, all true. Everybody's welcome. Uh, please click on the link and ask to join completely free, but it is a closed group, so you have to request membership. I say that because I don't want people to be a bit surprised when they go to the group and they have to ask to join um, because I want to keep the group you know, down to my, to my students. I give them the link um, and then I reiterate that the group is strictly non-promotional and if people break that rule, then they are asked to leave the club. Let me put it more bluntly. If people promote in that group, I ban them, I block them, I delete their post and I then send them a message saying, look, I'm sorry, I told you you're not allowed to promote in this group. I'm throwing you out the group or I'm, you, you know, I'm going to take you out of the group and I basically block them out. So I have a very strict policy in there and it's important because otherwise your group can get full of uh, spam and nonsense. I have another group, I'm not going to mention the name, um, where I basically encourage people to promote stuff, but I never send anybody from my Udemy courses anywhere near that group. Uh, that's simply to give uh, other instructors an outlet to promote their courses if that's where somewhere they want to promote their courses. But the two are completely separate and you should make sure that if you do have more than one group, you dedicate one group to your Udemy students and you basically ring fence it from all promotion and you just spend your time looking after them in there. So that's the Facebook community uh, strategy, if you like. Uh, having a Facebook community is a really good way to develop and deepen that relationship with your students. And if you do that, they will keep coming back to you and keep looking and buying your courses as you produce new courses. And that is what the game is all about.